OK, I've got this space here where the junction is on the new yard, or the extended yard. So what I was thinking here is put a signal box. Now I couldn't find anything that would fit there at all. It's quite a narrow space. Now the only thing that will fit is this. Now this is a Bikeman 44254 low relief power signal box. But this is a new project because Obviously, I don't want low relief. So what I've done, I've got two here, and I've started to glue them together. The problem I've got is there's a great big crack going all the way down. So I need to do something like that. So I'm going to put some filler on there. Obviously, I'm going to have to paint the roof. So there's a little bit of work to be done. So this is my latest project. Now, why Batman don't make one like that, I don't know. But it's ideal for what I need for this junction. So, here we go. I'll, sh I'll take you through the project and show you what I'm going to do. Obviously, first of all, I've super glued the two components together. Now, what I've found, the moulds must be slightly different because it doesn't match up perfectly. As you can see. Now I tried to get the roof section glued first, but then it, you had this sort of wobble, so it didn't look right. So, time to use a little bit of filler and imagination. Okay, I'm going to add the filler around these cracks here, before I start painting, and let that dry. Okay, what I've done here is added this uh, fascia, if you call it that, suffix fascia on the end with a bit of plaster card. Just to finish this end bit off here on both sides. So next I'm going to paint this and get rid of all these joints and obviously cover over this little trim fascia here on each side. So that's the next section uh, of this building to do. Okay, so I've done the joins, the roof's all repainted, and the paint I used, by mistake, or coincidence, I painted some of the legs on the layout a grey colour. And this was from B&Q, it's called Meridian Flat White, and it's exactly the same colour as the roof. So you need a roof colour in the future. Meridian Flat White, from Good Home, I'm sure this b and got this from, ages ago. Made in Germany, I've had it a while. Brilliant roof paint, works a treat, exactly the same colour. And I've just done little filling bits like that. On the other side. And I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, I've done a concrete tarmac base for the power signal box. That's all glued down with PVA. Just scale model scenics. And uh, glue that down. Okay, I've added the LED lights. I've dimmed them a bit by colouring in the uh, lights to, dim to damp them down. And I've also put this filler, well it's a sealant actually, uh, some sealant there, waterproof sealant. Uh, not because there's any water on there, but it'll stop the light getting out. And it also glues the uh, cracks a bit better than before. So that stops it falling apart basically. Black would have been better, but I didn't have any. It's what I've left over, so I'm trying to use what I can on a low budget here to do this as a demonstration. And it works. So I'll show you shortly. Okay, what I've done here or should I say around the sides just matched up, painted with a similar colour to what it's got and it matches up really well because uh, there's a bare sort of painted brick and here as well where the crack is in the side, if we can make that out, probably can I've weathered this down as well, just painted that section there and also the other side 
you can still see the crack there but it's not as prominent as before but I've weathered that in and you say the seal's pretty good you're not going to cover that up entirely but you'd have some sort of guttering in there anyway for the water to run away so I'm quite happy with that they've probably gone down a drainage down there somewhere or something like that but that's more of a natural sort of roof this is a great building absolute great building uh, like I said before why Bankman didn't make this I do not know as a non low relief building um, because it looks really good so if you're trying to save money which many model railway products have rocketed like anything else at the moment unfortunately this is a good way of doing it you've got to start making practical uses of what you've got now I think so I think this was about 27 pounds I bought one half the other half was my from my friend Daryl and he swapped it for one of these wagons here so I'll give you a swap free for one of those wagons say well I can't argue with that and it's exactly what I needed I'll just move that back a bit there but it's a great box the power signal box on the layout looks really good I'll just demonstrate the lights for you as well because uh, it works really well okay so I've dampened down the lights and you've got this frosted type glass on here and there's no light pollution coming through the brickwork I think that's just the right dampage can I say of light I don't think you need any more or less than that it's just about right for a nighttime scene for the occupants in there controlling the junction in the early hours so I'm quite happy with that I've also added a bit of this spare fencing I had here um, just spray painted it very lightly in a dirt colour uh, uh, um, an earthy type colour because it would be dirty with locusts coming past there and weathering as well what I'm going to do, and I'll be on another video eventually, is put some down lights here on each door. Sort of spotlight, well not spotlight, sort of halogen type lights maybe, uh, for the staff at night. And probably some down this walkway, probably a couple down here and here, um, just to cover that walkway area. For safety reasons and um, I'll update you on that on a later video also I've got to grass some of this area don't know what we're going to be doing with that some sort of storage area and the grass over here with bushes etc that'll be on a later video I may even put a couple of sort of small yard type lights on each side yeah I think I'll do that as well eventually but that'll be a later video